So episode 16, uh, the, the kids go to summer camp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Ironically, not the start of this Digimon adventure. <laughs> yeah. Actually, now you mention it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the kids, like, go on camp and, like... Man, like, not a lot really happens this episode. <laughs> they do fight a Deva, but, uh, yeah, nobody gets a new evolution yet. Yeah, like, well, first off, I do want to point out that Romon drinks an energy drink, and it's kind of yeah. funny because you just look at it without context, and it looks like she's drinking booze or something. <laughs> and I know <laughs> that could probably be used for something in the future if anyone makes, wants to make memes. <laughs> Yeah, this is like Rika's only appearance in this episode because she is she doesn't go to their school. Yeah, uh, so but she doesn't go on a trip. Yeah, they they go to summer camp and like Takao gets like a bunch of students to form like a wall of kids so Guilmon can sneak onto the bus. Which is which is weird because the only people. Uh... The only people they're trying to hide him from is the teacher who has her back turned anyways. Yeah, like, I don't know, I guess it's just in case she turns around. I guess. <laughs> uh, I just thought it was kind of silly. Yeah, oh, it's super silly. Like, they get him in and then they're just, like, sitting on him so she can't see. And apparently she has fell asleep partway through so they just let him run wild. <laughs> Apparently, this is a this is an occurrence that Takato knew was going to happen. So I guess she usually falls asleep on trips. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's he's just like, yeah, teacher's gonna fall asleep any minute. Just hang in. There. Like we have to sit on you to hide you, but until then, the once the teacher falls asleep, you can do whatever. <laughs> She's gonna pass out a second, man. We we can do this. <laughs> Come on, Gilmon. <laughs> Just any second, she's just sick. They're just like, oh, I'm sure glad I took those energy drinks. Like, with all that's been going on, there might be some, like, danger on this trip or something. <laughs> just like, you know, just cut swords. Like, I'm sure glad I loaded up on, like, 12 cups, 12 cups of coffee before this started. <laughs> Each time they look over, she's, like, doing some different thing to stay away. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Giamon, you're gonna have to just hang in there. She won't go to sleep. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you just look back, or she's like, yo, like fist fight with someone else, like, yeah, this will keep me awake. <laughs> On the bus? <laughs> Boxing lessons. <laughs> And uh, I'm trying to think of else, like, this gag could get into, and, like, I'm wrong short on ideas. <laughs> but yeah, they, they get to the effing, like, woods, basically. And, like, yo, they go ring for, like, a Digimon, and they just sort of look at it, and they're just like, yeah, let's not worry about that. Yeah, and they... they yeah. Well, hey, okay, so they're not irresponsibly ignoring the attack of a Digimon. Henry's like, look, it's a small signal, it's probably, like, a, like, a really not, like, it's probably a non-threat. Isn't this Digimon, like, an ultimate or something? Yeah, but it spawns in, and it's, like, physically small, so I guess the... Yeah, I guess the Digimon signal's just tiny, and they're like, eh, yeah. it's probably not that big a deal. <laughs> yeah, so he's like, yeah, let's just let the Digimon play. They need a break because of all the fighting they've been doing. Yeah, the Probably should investigate this just in case it's not, like, an imp mon or something, but sure, you know, they don't know. Yeah. To be fair, like, every, like, more powerful Digimon they've encountered has been pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they had encountered... Like, I don't think they've encountered anything that's, uh... Like, Whoa. small and dangerous. Wait, no, hang on a sec. Don't these kids play the card game? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so they should know about, like, Piximon and stuff. <laughs> I don't know, man. The, the, the yeah. main goal is to let the Digimon rest. 
Yeah, the, the main point is that, like, they pop the problem and then it gets worse. Yeah, but it, ultimately it isn't that big of a problem. Like, they beat it with two champions. Yeah. It's like, he, he kind of defeats himself, really, when you think about it. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, essentially it's like, I think it's Kukumon is what it's like English name is, but I'm not sure. Terrible name. But whatever, it's like, it's the chicken deva. It's it's, it's like, a chicken. It's like Siduramon or something. Yeah. I admittedly have a hard time remembering what its original name is, but it's still better than Kukumon. Um, a lot of the deva names are just like really just, yo, know, not, like, good for English speakers. Yeah. Um, so there, there is a part where there's, like, a possessed owl. Yes. <laughs> and it, so, in the Japanese dub, it has, like, a really high pitch. Like, they're trying to go for, like, a, like, a quote-unquote bird voice. Uh, in the dub... They went with Southern Preacher. Odd. I don't know if you remember from the dub or if you saw this episode. I don't think uh, I did. But yeah, like they went with the thing where the where the owl is like talking about like oh the god of the Digimon is like powerful and like whatever and uh, like you know talking about how great it is and so the dubbers were like. Hmm, you know what? He's preaching, so let's go with like a southern style <laughs> preacher, like with a weird accent and everything, and <laughs> it's really goofy. Alright, I've got to look that up to put it in the podcast, that sounds pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, of all the things from Tamers, this is like one of the things I remember really clearly, it's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Yeah, before that happens, like, the Didron just take a swim, and Impamon's like, Oh, hey, like, look at you, like, wimps. And they're just like, Nah, come on, be true to your feelings, Kulu. It's like, yeah, he's like, uh, Oh, having all this fun, you didn't invite me. And then they're like, Hey, you wanna join, you wanna join in? And he's like, Well, I didn't, I meant, like, hypothetically. <laughs> And he joins it anyway. He's like, I'll have to show you what fun is. Somebody splashes him with water, and he's like, fine, I guess I'll have to join in then. And it's like, oh man, it wants so Sundere. It's, this is like the most clear cut of like a Sundere he's been so far. Like, I want to I wanna be part of, the, part of the group, have fun. Yeah, then like Kukumon shows up, and there's like the owl, and the owl is just like, a thing, oh, our god has become strong on the lights created by these humans or whatever. <laughs> and it's like, it's weird because it's like mentioned in a way that seems to imply he's talking about Kukumon. <laughs> I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure he is. Like, I think uh, Sidarumon, like, possessed the owl to talk for it since it can't speak itself. Because it, yeah. never, it, never, it never actually says anything, it just makes, like, bird noises. Yeah, that does make a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, it's, it's really, uh... But yeah, he's like, uh, uh... Our god will gorge itself on the light of humans or whatever. And then it takes Henry a frustratingly long amount of time to, to like... Oh, he means, uh, 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 this is after Henry's heard that there, uh, there have been, like, blackouts. Yeah. And it, he's like, oh, he means the electricity, it feeds, it, uh, powers itself up on electricity. And it takes Henry, like, a, like, a, like, <laughs> 10 to 15 seconds to figure this out. So yeah, this is, like, the big, like, thrust of the episode, it's like, effing... Kukumon or Sinjarma or whatever crap is like eating electricity and they have to stop it before it reaches the dam. Cause it's like, it sucks up electricity and then it gets bigger and more powerful. <laughs> yeah, all of us, and then all of a sudden it is big and a threat. Yeah. So they like, they try to fight him before it can get to the dam. And that like, 
Ah, let me bring up the image. Yeah, it just essentially leads to, like, you know... Effing. Yes, I probably should have this up. Okay, yeah. Leads to nothing like Growlmon just find this thing basically one on one. Cause, like, its armor is too strong for Galgamon's shots, just straight up. Like, Galgamon's kind of useless in this fight. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, Growlmon just kind of knocks him into the water, and then his old electricity, like, yo, know, just hurts him and it just fries him, which is. Not. Gargamon, like, distracts, distracts the enemy, and then, like, Growlmon charges past him and, like, hits him into the water. Yeah, and it's like, it's not quite how electricity works, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's how... I don't know, it probably works to that degree... Uh, it, it's either video game logic or it works that way somehow. Because, uh... Cole from Infamous, uh, he can't go into large bodies of water or he'll just get fried by his own electrical yeah. powers. Like, I feel like, you know, like, just logically speaking, if that happened, then, like, wouldn't the electricity just disperse across the water? Because it's like, that's the thing, Mars a conductor. Well, it's gotta go through his body to But it's already him. going half his body. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, look, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, it's one of those things where it's like, it's it's fine, it just doesn't make scientific sense, but whatever. Yeah, I, like I said, I accept it as, like, video game logic. <laughs> yeah, his own power essentially just does him in, and he's like, yeah, da, 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 and he just dies, and that's, like, the episode. <laughs> yeah, this, this episode's not really much to talk about. Yeah, like, all that really happens is that it's, like, effing, like, Henry realizes that, like, you know, the thing they've been putting off is gonna become a bigger threat later. And he's like, oh, I'm so stupid, why didn't we deal with this sooner? And he's like, I should have acted right. and stuff. And that's yeah, Henry. basically it. <laughs> Henry's like, this is all my fault, and Takato's like, no, I chose to ignore it too, it's partially my fault. Yeah. Important thing though is that like this is another Deva down, so that's like three so far. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this is the third one. Snake. Uh, what was the first one? The tiger. Tiger, tiger snake. Man, yeah, they I blew mean, the tiger pretty early. Uh, rooster. I think uh, if we're being specific. Yeah. And, like, yeah, spoiler alert, the other two episodes are fighting two more Davas. Yeah, Pajramon and Vajramon. So we're about halfway there by the end of these. Yeah, so the good thing is that this means the arc goes by fairly quickly. Yeah, because they're not, like, dragging their feet on it. Yeah. Bad thing is it means that, like, each of these devas, pretty much all of them just die pretty quickly, so not a lot of them get a lot of personality so far. Yeah. Uh, we well, get... until the next episode, I should say. <laughs> yeah. Where we learn that one of them's kind of a creeper, but we'll get to that. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> so, Vajramon and Pajramon.